previously on Mr. Fourth Programming. Windows operating system, since their APIs all use UTF, our UTF-8 stuff is good to go. So we're going to do the same idea again, but now we're looking up UTF-16. And now... Okay, so with this one, the main idea here is that usually things fit in... Uh, 16 bits, but once in a while we have to switch to two 16 bit chunk, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, elements. And uh, the way to tell when that's happening is things that fall outside of this range are two, uh, two 16 bit integers instead of one, right? So anything in these ranges, we just encode it as it is. Anything that uh, falls uh, or we decode it as it is anything that falls inside this range here gets decoded in a different way and let's see it's split up 10 and 10 give us the first one with d8 and so the result comes out to be in this range and yeah okay yep makes sense so we have these two numbers here this gives us a first byte this gives us a second byte when we're decoding, we'll subtract those numbers out and then glue the bits together. When we're encoding, we'd like to see for numbers that are bigger than this, we subtract this out and then we uh, split it up and add it to these things, right? So there's like a subtract, split, and add it in. And then when we're doing the other direction, it's subtract, glue together, and then add in. So that's, that's the plan. Let's go do that. Okay, so that makes it look like the 16-bit uh, UTF-16 converters are working. Uh, of course, we won't really know for sure until the 16-bit stuff meets reality and starts getting used with the Windows API. We'll not, we might detect that something is weird when we hit bugs there, but at least it's for some easy strings able to convert it in and out of UTF-16 without changing the string, so that's a good sign. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with moving on with that level of testing there. So that's it for the conversion stuff. Uh, yeah, once once you kind of know the format and spend a little time tinkering with it, it's kind of just a fun thing to figure out how to do those encodes and decodes, and it's not actually that hard. The biggest thing is I don't spend the time to do error you know, handling. I'm not trying to validate strings here. I just want it to be the case that if I have a correct string in one format, I can get it into a correct string of another format. And I don't really care if incorrect strings become correct strings. I don't, you know, I don't really care about those kinds of situations. I'm not trying to uh, be super uh, sort of, I don't know, legalistic maybe or something like that with the way the code works, it's more important that I get the useful cases working to me. So that's what we did. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the Unicode conversion stuff done.